Jackie Jackson. Hello YouTube, it's Jacob Torres from Wiki Jackson, and today we're going to start a very new video series. In this video series, we're going to show you how to set up a basic testing server for a website. We're going to show you how to set that testing server up in Dreamweaver and use it in Dreamweaver. We're going to show you how to make a basic site in Dreamweaver, and we're even going to show you later in the series how to make a very advanced site with some really cool aspects that is even used in wikijackson.com. So, uh, this is the first part of the series. This is just going to be us setting up the testing servers and the sites and getting it all configured with Dreamweaver. So, first thing you're going to want to do is download MAMP. It's free. You just type in MAMP to Google. It should be the first thing that pops up. That is, if you're using Mac, you're going to use MAMP. If you're using Windows, then you're going to use want to use WAMP. Just type it into Google. It's just W A M P for Macs. It's A M A M P. And they're both free unless you get the pro version like I'm using. But everything that I do in the pro version, you'll be able to do in the free version also. So, uh, you're going to want to download that. And right now we're just going to put it off to the side. And on your desktop, you're going to create a new folder. It doesn't have to be on your desktop, but preferably while you're testing, that's where you're going to want to have it. And I'm just going to name mine Test Site. Okay, so now we're going back into MAMP. All right. So this is the page that should come up if you're using MAMP Pro, um, but just follow my directions and you should be able to find it on the free version of MAMP also. Under the PHP for the version, you're going to use 5.4.4 and don't change any of the other things because you don't need to. In the MySQL, your password or the standard password is root. You're just going to want to change that so that that red error can go away. If you want it to be root, then actually if you're using a testing server, then really anyone can get into your stuff if they just guess root. I mean, it's the basic password for all of them. Whoops, must have typed it in wrong. So you're just gonna wanna change that to something. I'm using password. There we go. So it gets that red error to go away and it's a bit harder for people to just get into it whenever they want. Um, you can look through some of these other things. You don't need to do change anything under the postfix, dynamic DNS, or Apache. Um, in general, uh, the default will be the MAMP ports, which is all these 8s and 9s. You aren't going to want to do that. You're going to click the default port. And um, if this doesn't work or you don't have a default port option, the Apache is 80, the MySQL is 3306, and the SSL is 443 and you should be able to find this under the general tab in MAMP and uh, you don't need to deal with any of this other stuff I actually suggest you not dealing with any of anything else other than what I tell you unless you uh, know what you're doing and if you know what you're doing then you really don't have to watch this first video you can skip ahead to some of the more advanced ones so your disk location you're just going to want to choose that testing site that you made on your desktop there's nothing in it right now so obviously nothing's gonna work and you can look through these if you want like I said don't change anything just keep it the way it is and you're just gonna hit the start button and if it succeeds there should be a stop button right here the web start should become a uh, you can actually click it now but you don't have to click that don't worry about that and also there should be two little stars next to the Apache and the MySQL you don't need to, there doesn't need to be a star around the dynamic DNS because we didn't set that up and we're not going to in this video series. If you want to, then I mean, sure, go ahead. All right, so we can set MAMP off to the side now for a while. We can just minimize that. And actually, we're just going to test it in Safari. Obviously, nothing's going to be there. The um, standard, the standard, um, URL will be just localhost. Just type that into your what your browser, and um, as you can see, it shows the document root. It's my desktop test site, and it's just some files that MAMP put into there in the in indexed and just this right here. This is the index.php page that they put in there, and we're just going to delete those because obviously we don't need them. But as you can see right here, it says the virtual host was set up successfully, so that is good. Now in the test site, go ahead and delete that stuff that MAMP put in there. It's command backspace or right click delete if you don't know the commands. 
and now we're going to go into Dreamweaver. I am using the brand new uh, Dreamweaver CS6. It uh, looks very nice, so pardon me if I get confused on something. I'm still getting new used to the new layout. So you're going to want to go into Site, New Site, and call the site Test Site. Um, the folder that you're going to choose is the folder that you made on the desktop, Test Site. You're going to go into servers, click the plus button, test site. You can name that whatever you want, that really doesn't matter. You're going to go into local forward slash network, choose the server folder, which again is the one that you made on your desktop, and you can leave the web URL blank for now since it sets that up for you. Um, if you know what you're doing, of course, you can go into advanced, do whatever you need to do. But if you're just trying to make a basic website following this tutorial, then just follow everything I do. So you're just going to click save and click testing on and remote off because this is just a testing server. And save again. So now, if you open the site, well there's nothing in there so this is all that there is. So we're just going to create a new HTML file to use as our index or our home page. And you're going to change the title to, I suggest doing your site name. So let's just say your site name is Wiki Jackson. You can have Wiki Jackson hyphen home because this is the home page. And if you don't, and if you can't find that in the code, it should just be an opening title tag and ending title tag. You could just come up here and change it like that. Okay, so here is the basic code and. This is a split design or the split um, layout in Dreamweaver. So this is the design section and this is the code section. And just to get the site going, we're going to create an H1 tag and a PP tag. Now an H1 tag is a header tag, so basically it's going to be bigger. This is header paragraph. This is a paragraph. Did I spell that right? I think I did. Don't ask why I capitalized header and paragraph, I just did. So as you can see, it just has the basic stylings for a header and a paragraph like that. Okay, so that's just to fill in some stuff like that. I'm going to command shift F, or sorry, command shift S, which is save as. And you'll save it as index into that test site folder just save it like that and the cool thing about having a testing server is there's no uploading once it's done you can just go to your local host and bam there it is this is a header this is a paragraph and in the next tutorial we'll be showing you how to actually put in some uh, basic website things into your website using Dreamweaver we're going to teach you some nice cool Dreamweaver tricks that you can use to incre increase your productivity on Dreamweaver and we're also well, that's about it for the next tutorial. So uh, thanks for watching. Follow us on Twitter at WikiJackson. Stay tuned for more uh, updates in this series. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. And visit WikiJackson.com.